A giant raft of pumice rock floating in the Pacific could help heal Australia's Great Barrier Reef, which has been dominating headlines for uh, the kind of crisis that it is witnessing. Our next report getting you all the details. As an Australian couple sailed through the South Pacific earlier this year, they encountered this. As far as I could see, the sea had turned to this, this uh, field of stone. That stone is pumice from an underwater volcano that erupted near North Tonga. It initially formed a floating raft spanning 150 square kilometers. That's roughly the size of 20,000 football fields. If we were standing on the beach, for example, looking at this pumice, it would go to the horizon. Fine denser. Denser? Yep. Scott Bryant and Andrew Fletcher, both from Queensland University of Technology, are studying the raft and tracking its journey. That's the pumice raft just there on a course for Australia's northeastern coast. Uh, this is very well developed. Brian says some of the pumice will be carrying pieces of new coral. Bringing billions and millions of individuals in at once to be able to find a new home, add to the existing uh, populations that are here that have suffered over the last few years through bleaching, cyclones in particular, just giving that, that extra boost of new numbers to help replenish and restore the reef. The pumice raft continues to break up, which researchers say increases its chances of being dispersed along the Great Barrier Reef when it arrives next year. And while they stress the threats it faces. The weekend gone by marked the 14th weekend of demonstrations in Hong Kong. Just as promised by the pro-democracy campaigners, the withdrawal of the controversial extradition bill has had very little impact on the protests. Thousands of secondary school students formed a human chain in a show of solidarity with the pro-democracy movement. Remember, participation of school-going children has been a major highlight of the movement so far. Sunday saw huge demonstrations in central Hong Kong, with many protesters taking to the streets to drum up international support. They marched to the U.S. consulate and called on President Donald Trump to liberate the city. Anger against the MTR Corporation and the Hong Kong police also reached a boiling point. Protesters were seen, trash, were seen trashing the central MTR station and causing damage. <laughs> Riot police personnel swarmed the streets to try and contain the protesters and uh, used tear gas to disperse them. The violent scenes on your screens have become commonplace in Hong Kong. Popular pro-democracy activist Joshua Wong was detained at the airport while returning from Taiwan on Sunday. Upon his release, he squarely blamed the Hong Kong government and demanded that the international community must react to the political persecution. Okay, uh, so uh, thanks for the uh, support of the uh, legal team. So uh, unfortunately with the political prosecution, no, uh, no one would love it would happen. But uh, with the chaos happened uh, yesterday, I've been detained for 24 hours. And I urge international communities to realize the political prosecution just result in white terror and become a common norm. Meanwhile, a concert was organized in Hong Kong in a bid to diffuse the mounting tensions as a result of the protests. More than 10 music groups featuring over 100 performers took part. Thousands of people waved Hong Kong and Chinese flags to promote stability and harmony. Veteran artist Lisa Wong, who has previously spoken about the need to restore order, co-hosted the event. Other prominent artists also thoroughly entertained the audience in the concert, which lasted over two hours. According to the organizers, the purpose was to bring a breath of fresh air as Hong Kong is reeling from those tensions, many attendees called it an act of kindness and love.